Hello. <laughs> We've made it to Toro Molinos. So it's a beautiful day and we're at a restaurant where they're cooking food behind us on a boat, which is quite unusual. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> but it's quite noisy here. But we're just waiting for our lunch. But it's a lovely day, the sun is shining. We're on the beach. <laughs> Look, can you see that? Yeah, I can feel the sand in my toes. I've never been to Torremolinos before. Oh, I'm not sure if I can see your feet there. Oh, oh yes, we can. Yes. Oh. There we go. Anyway. Cheers. Cheers. Let's just have a little walk up the back street and see what's around. A little wonder. Lots of little shops. Yes, we've just had lunch. <laughs> See me walking with a bit of a, a tilt. <laughs> it's normal for this time of day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've come across an interesting thing. Look at that. What, what is interesting about a house hanging over the edge of a cliff? Yeah. Oh, that's every day. Well, I think that's quite interesting. I'm not sure I'd want to live up there though. Lots of steps. Yeah, we're, this is a great time to come to Torre Melinos. All the shops are closed. <laughs> I had great plans to have a nice wee glass of uh, brandy while Karen went shopping. <laughs> bit cold in the shade. It's a bit cold in the shade, yeah. But look at that, I mean, that's just stunning out there, isn't it? Beautiful beach. Yeah, show that later. Well, Torre de Pimentel, Tower of the Mills, Torre de los Molinos, and Rodrigo de Pimentel. That's why we've got Torre Molinos. Cool. How about that? Little, uh, what's it say? Tower of the Mills. Made, made from ground. rammed earth. Wow, that is just. Has a solid base, two floors, windows, and a large terrace from which the Nazareth guards watched out for possible intrusions from the sea. <laughs> How very interesting. Yeah, that definitely wasn't from the Romans. It said it was from the 13th century. Mm. And I'm sure the Romans would have used concrete. They wouldn't have used rammed earth. <laughs> right. We will continue our tour de Cal San Miguel. <laughs> sure, that was a beer. San Miguel. Is it Cal San Miguel? Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Look at that. I think in the summer, with the heat of the sun, you'd probably find this really nice. You get the whole place yourself. Oh, blank de nil. There you go. Might have lost Cam to the lure of the shops. <laughs> Have you ever seen a shop that's 
No, that's that's fairly uh, niche. I've never seen the shop full of so much white stuff. <laughs> shiny, shiny, shiny. <laughs> well, I think we found the centre. Still a lot of things closed. Well, it is out of season. So near, yet so far. Yeah, I don't know how we get down there. <laughs> yeah, the road seems to be leading us west. And we want to go east down to the beach. <laughs> It says it's 15 degrees. Yeah. I've got my fleece on, my jacket on. <laughs> it's freezing. I'm actually overheating a little bit while we're walking around. The minute we start, there is a bit of a breeze. But it is lovely. Well, as promised, I'm showing you the beach at Tormelinos. stretches for miles and miles in that direction. Um, quite a way in that direction. I think this has to be the cleanest beach we've seen on this trip so far, apart from the Camargue. Yeah. Yeah, it's very clean. Well, this is the campsite that we're staying at. Camping. It is Camping Toro Molinos. Very near a very busy road. But actually the sound it's not too bad is it from where we where we caught can't really hear it that much. Yeah. Okay, somewhere over there is washing machines. It's a service point. Yeah, proper one. Yeah, actually get one. Yeah. Barky dogs. <laughs> Got to have the barky dogs. Oh yeah, there's the washing up point. And the showers. Chemical uh, disposals to the right of it. Oh. And there's Wiki. Oh, and bikes. So this is our pitch. We've been here two nights. So yeah, that's quite nice. Just uh, have some very noisy parakeets up in the uh, trees up there <laughs> and you don't get a lot of sunshine because it's got a big building that side and trees but we were lucky to get the space when we got here this was the last space available and someone pulled in behind us who was turned away and actually they took a wrong turning so technically it should have been their pitch but you know we got here first so <laughs> <laughs> there's what looks like there's one spare to me yeah. Toilets are uh, okay, the showers are... Cold. <laughs> not exactly warm. It's cold. And a tiny size, I think the shower in the van's bigger. Yeah, so I think we'll move on tomorrow. Yeah. I had a nice lunch in Torre Molinas, yeah. one of the beach bars. 
We did the same yesterday. I'm a bit sweaty now. Walking up the hill. Mm. Walked about five miles. <laughs> right, let's get the kettle on. Yeah. Well, we're now in Frangarola. <laughs> Frangarola. Really rubbish at this pronunciation. And this is. What's it called? Castillo Sahal or something. Castillo Sahal. It's right on the edge of the coast. And if you look over there, that's where we're parked. So it's yeah. one euro for the night, which is pretty cheap. There's no services, but it'll do. Yeah, there's bins. We're about a uh, 30 minute walk into the centre of town, to the port. Yeah. Might what? do that later. Yep, but for now we're going to go and have a look at this castle. Another castell! This is uh, Castillo so so high. Castillo so high. There you go. Oh, look, church. Bending position guard. Ooh, all sorts up here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. I think that this this one's uh, seen better days. That that that, that one. <laughs> yeah. Looking past its best. <laughs> we have found interesting thing. Well, you think it's interesting. Yes, yeah, well, actually, interesting. Two things. <laughs> Boobies. Look at that. Yeah, that that's quite a sculpture. I don't know if you can see it properly. Mediterranean by oh, Luis Cobbins, which was worn out by, uh, from 2000 feet. <laughs> oh, the weather outside is awful. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It would help if you knew the words. Yeah, it would. Let it snow. Oh yeah, that's it. Let it snow, let it snow. We're in Fangarola. And how cool is that? They've got little, little uh, boats, little metal boats that you can put your barbecue or your fire on. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah, it was a very posh restaurant. Very nice. But, you know, I think two main courses, a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine was like double the price of the main course. And brandy. Oh yeah, I had a brandy as well. For about 50 quid, I think, roughly. 53 quid? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I think we've done Fangarola now. Yeah. Time to move. Yeah. <laughs> Where should we go tomorrow? Marbella? Yeah, I think Marbella. Then, then, then our twenty-three pound bottle of wine, or <laughs> nineteen really pound, it's actually, <laughs> will seem quite cheap. <laughs> okay, back to the van. Cup of tea. Stay here the night. Next stop, Marbella. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is where we're parked tonight. That was the castle that we were up in earlier. And behind us is the beach. Can you see? It's quite a nice beach actually. Triangle is like a 
10, 20 minute walk that way, depending on which, which uh, restaurant you want to eat in. Yeah. And as you can see, there's quite a few vans here. We've yeah. got an English one beside us and another English one behind us. Oh, no, it's a real mix of nationalities. I actually prefer this place actually. Yeah, I prefer it to the campsites. Yeah, and it was only one euro. Yeah. <laughs> Even better. It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> I think we might get a bit of road noise, but probably no more than we had at the camp in Torremolinos. And we're much closer to the beach. Yeah. Well, we'll see how, if there's no wind tomorrow, we might end up having a beach day. Yeah, you never know. But you think this is what, one euro? Torremolinos was 22 euros a night? Yeah. Yeah. And what did we get there? Cold showers. <laughs> <laughs> At least here, we've got nice hot showers. Yeah, in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll be using the solar now because there's no electric hookup, obviously. There's no services. There are bins. So if you're rubbish, that's fine. Okay, we should last about two or three days without any services. It sounds very easy with the water. Yeah. If we'd known how good this place was, I think I might have topped up a couple of bags of water. <laughs> yeah, we need to be in Portugal in a couple of weeks, so we need to keep moving. Yeah. Ever We've done our three months in Spain. Yeah, well, that's right. We're coming up for a few months. Yeah, it went really quickly. We did, but we did spend about a month in Mazaran. I like Mazaran. It was uh, quite a nice wee place to stay. Yeah. We're on a head size, but we're still getting a cold wind. Yeah. Although it is hot, when you're out of the wind, it's, it's, it's actually very nice and hot. We'll definitely get the winter sun. Right, please put the kettle on. Cup of yeah. tea. Kettle on, cup of tea. <laughs>